Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more of like a tutorial review type thing. Um, we get a lot of people asking us how to grow their YouTube channel, like if there's any tools that they could use or just like tips and tricks on how to grow their YouTube channel. And I recently stumbled upon this like treasure of a plugin type deal called TubeBuddy. And it's like a, it's a Chrome extension, I guess you install it into Chrome. I, th I think it probably works on other browsers too. I only know it works in Chrome. I, I'll look that up. I'll leave a link down in the description so you can go to the page to look it up. And I'm just going to kind of show you some of the cool things that you could do with it because it kind of takes care of a lot of the tips I would have given you all in one place. So I figured it'd be a good place to start for anyone that wants like ideas on how to grow their YouTube channel because it kind of does everything on its own. So I mean, there's really no point in making this video. Just get the extension. You could try it out and you, it, it'll explain itself. But I'm just going to show you some stuff for these people that are afraid of getting free things. It's free, by the way. There's different tiers that you can get. The free version has a lot of cool stuff right off the bat. Then there's other, other features that you would need to unlock with the different tiers of payment, which I'll show you in a little bit. I'll just start off right, right off the bat. I have the top tier, so I have all the features. So first thing you'll notice is I'm on YouTube. It looks kind of normal, except Re recommended videos are a little weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why those are recommended. <laughs> Sabrina watches a lot of like people like doing weird makeup. Zombie bro, <laughs> what the heck? Alright, anyway, this isn't a promotion for those videos, but you should check out these videos though. <laughs> this right here, you'll notice this is a little different. You probably don't have this on yours unless you have TubeBuddy installed. This is what happens when you install TubeBuddy. You get little extra buttons every once in a while. And you click on it, you'll see a little drop down with the new things you could do. There's settings and you could submit an idea. Where the magic is, is if you go to, for instance, you go to your videos. I'm going to go to my video manager. You'll see a new button here, too, which will pop up in a second. There it is. So it's next to all my videos. I could drop it down. And there's a few things I could do. For instance, promote this video, vid2vid. It's one of the features of TubeBuddy. It says, which promotion method would you like to use? Featured video promotion which is kind of like the standard, like the little lower corner annotation type deal. Um, and it shows up on all of your videos promoting it. But this is cool, the description promotion. If I click what's this, it'll explain what it is. So what happens is, here, I'll, just, I'll just go to it. I click this, I click, I click continue. And I can say what I want to say, and I can say if I want it at the end of the description or the start of the description. And what it's going to do is it's going to add a promotion for this video that I just clicked on on every single description of every video that is on this channel. So it's like instant promotion and you can put it right at the start of the description. So it's like at the, what do they call that? Above the fold. So that way you could see it before you hit the drop down. That'll link to your video from all of your videos. Or you can do the end of the description for people that don't have really long descriptions. But I mean, if you have a really long description, that's kind of useless in a way. At the same time, putting at the start of the description, if you have a lot of videos that have like very search engine optimization things going on, you kind of want that at the top of the description. So it's kind of like, you're not, I'm not really sure the best practice for this, but it's a very cool idea. And um, I could see a lot of people that don't really rely on search engine optimization, taking advantage of this and really promoting their videos. Like these people have that rely on fan bases, like subscribers and stuff and they want everyone to see their newest video. I could see that working very well. So that's a cool thing. And then the other one, if, if like I'll, I'll go to what's this so you can see what it is. It just has this thing down there. Um, and that's on all of your videos as well. Okay, so moving on, bulk copy annotations, you click that. So basically these are the annotations that I have on this particular video. And I could copy the annotations and put it on another video. And that makes things really easy for people that just don't want to sit here and deal with annotations all day. It just makes doing annotations a lot easier. I'm just going to roll through this really quick. Bulk copy cards. Cards are like the new type of annotation deals. I think YouTube might be trying to phase out annotations, but they're not going anywhere soon. Cards are made because they work on mobile. Because as, as you probably notice, annotations don't work on mobile. But cards work on everything pretty much all devices. So if you use a card, there's a good chance that more people will see it. And it's kind of like more interactive because it has like an image and stuff. It's not just like a blob with text. Same deal. I could copy the cards and paste them onto other videos. Share tracker. So the way share tracker works is you go to the video, you go to the share tracker button, and it gives you a list of places that you could share to, which YouTube kind of gives you that feature already if you go to the sharing option on your video. But the thing is, this tracks all the places that you shared it. So you don't share it to the same place twice if you don't want to. Um, so for instance, if I clicked on if I want to share it to dig, it'll pop up. 
I could submit it to dig and you'll notice there's a checkbox next to it. And if I ever come back to it, wait, which one? I don't even know which one I clicked on now. That one? This one? Yeah, see, as you can see, the checkbox is next to it. And the same thing for this one, like click on it, it puts a checkbox. So that way I know which ones I've already shared it to, and it kind of helps you keep track of everything. Advanced embed. So there's a lot of little hidden features when you're embedding a YouTube video on like a website or a blog or something that you don't really have control of. And this kind of gives you all of those options, you know, the autoplay loop video, like as you can see, the code changes as I check things off. It basically just gives you all the options right here. I mean, you could look it up online and try to figure out what those different things are, or you could just use this and it makes it a lot easier. So that speeds things up a little bit. Social monitor. Okay, this is really cool. The one I clicked on, I clicked it, went to social monitor, and it shows me where people shared this video. Now, I'm on my DJ Monopoly channel, so it doesn't get a whole lot of shares, but you'll notice some people shared it, including myself, Terabrite, <laughs> and my parents, and Hype Muffin. Thanks, thanks, Hype Muffin. It's kind of cool just to see who shared your video. Oh, and also, I mean, um, you can also go to Reddit and see who shared it on Reddit as well. So that's cool. Um, and there's more social networks coming soon to that to see where it's shared to. But right now, it's just Twitter and Reddit. More coming soon. Thumbnail generator. All right, let me find a video that doesn't have a thumbnail, like all of these. Okay, I'll do this one, Stalkers. Okay, so I'm going to drop down and go to thumbnail generator. And this is cool because I could use a still frame still frame from the video. I click on it and literally just scrub through the video, find a thumbnail that I want, as opposed to just having three choices, which kind of sucks. Actually, the whole video sucks. Yeah, the whole, suck, the whole sucks kind of video, so <laughs> this is a bad example, but I'm just going to go with it anyway. It's pretty good, I guess. It's better than the current option. Like and then once I get like a kind of close to where I want it, I could go frame by frame and get like a nice sharp shot. I'll go with that. Click next to continue. All right, now I can add text. Stalker's question mark. I'll uh, make it, uh, you know, luckiest guy. That's what I am. Oh, <laughs> that was so cheesy. And I'll make it white and bold and outlined in black. Okay, that sounds good. Center it, add. Okay, there we go. Looks good. I could size it. Make it nice and big, all right. Um, and obviously, I could there's select layer like there's different layers and stuff. So you could you could do a lot of crazy stuff with this image. I could add an image to it. There's a lot of crazy stuff you could do with this. So I mean, I'm just gonna go with that because that's good enough for now. But as you can see, it's very powerful, and you can make thumbnails without having to like open up Photoshop or anything. I'm just gonna use this because <laughs> the thumbnail kind of sucked. So I'm actually using this thumbnail right now. All right. So that thumbnail should update after I refresh, hopefully. There it is, Stalkers, okay. I should have made the title a little higher because there's a little time thing there. Wasn't thinking, but as you can see, it works. All right, next, pick a winner. Okay, this is really cool. So if you do a giveaway on your channel, this keeps falling, so I'm probably like getting quieter and quieter as I talk. So if you do a giveaway on your channel, the best way to do the giveaway usually is to pick a random comment from down below. Like tell them, leave a comment down below, and we'll pick a random comment, and that person wins something. Now whether that's against YouTube's terms of service, I'm not really sure. If you're going to do that, that's the best way. Here's a way to do it where it actually is a randomly picked winner. Running a contest on this video? Click the button below to pick a random commenter. Okay, pick a winner. Congratulations, Ashton Cooney, you won. Thanks for leaving the comment that said, no, it's different lighting. People show different photos. Unfortunately, you're not actually winning anything, but you get uh, you get to win something. You, get, you win being in the video, I guess. So that's cool. If you ever want to do a giveaway, that's a cool little trick there. Publish to Facebook. You could take any of your videos, click publish to Facebook. Sorry you don't have any Facebook accounts linked to TubeBuddy. I'm not going to do this right now. I have to link my Facebook account for this to work. And it's in beta, yeah, and that's private. So I'm sure you get what that means. Facebook is a very popular um, video site now, weird to say, but they're trying to compete with YouTube and uh, that's just how it is. So a lot of people are using Facebook to promote their YouTube videos. You could leave a link in like the info for the Facebook to link to your YouTube video version of it. Um, and people are getting a lot of success from that, basically with like fan pages and stuff. Um, so you could do that and it makes it easier for you. I'm not sure if it actually works. I haven't tried it yet, but nevertheless, it's a cool feature. It's in beta right now though, so test it out at your own risk, I guess. All right, next up, search rankings. I'm going to click that. This is a very powerful tool, which 
you're not going to see the power in right now <laughs> because I guess this video is just so old. It's not search ranking in anything. Let me find something that's probably ranking. Yeah, this channel doesn't rank very well. <laughs> All right, so I finally found something that's raking somewhere. Um, so this is my video for Toby Turner. So obviously, like, it's sort of our, our video. So I'm going to rank somewhere, hopefully. Um, so basically, it lists all the tags on your video. And it tells you how high your video is ranking for that search term. So if you search Mini Minotaur Song, my video is going to rank 27. So you're probably going to scroll down a little bit and go to the next page or something. But it'll be the 27th result. This will be the 45th. And all the NR ones just aren't showing up. So that shows how bad my tags are. But luckily, there is a little tool that um, will help you with your tags, which I'll show you in a little bit. The last thing that you could get out of this area is sunset video, which basically allows you to choose a date for your video to go private or unlisted. And that's a pretty cool feature, I guess, especially for like giveaways or something. Like say, oh, this video will self-destruct on whatever day. So people won't see it anymore, you know what I'm saying? We've done that in the past for videos and then forgot to like private it. And then we just decided to leave it up. That would have been helpful back then, but I could see it being useful now if we ever want to do that again. All right, so moving on. The other thing is you have this like bulk tool where you could add thumbnail overlays to all of your thumbnails, which is kind of cool. You could delete annotations and delete cards. You can do it all in bulk. So that could be helpful. It'll just save you a lot of time. So I'm gonna go to a random crappy video that doesn't have like too many views. It's kind of old. So I just want to kind of like beef it up and make it uh, something that people might search and actually find. Because let's just do a quick look at here and see if I'm actually ranking in any of those search results using this cool tool here, search rankings. And as you can see, I'm not ranking anything. So I got to do something about that. So I'm going to go to the video. I mean, it might not work right away, but this is a good start. All right, so I want to make the tags a little better in this video. It might take a little while for it to actually go through and start showing up in search results, but it should help. That's what the goal is here. All right, so we got this tag tools area. Um, you got a lot of cool things you could do with this. For instance, if you go to explore, you could search tags here. So I'm going to search how to keep an idiot in suspense. So I'm going to explore that. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring up pretty much related t tags to that tag, people that use that tag, and show you how relevant those tags are. So idiot, suspense, these are all tags I've actually used. So I might be kind of screwed for this video. It just, it just isn't really a great video. But as you can see, it gives me a lot of choices. All right, so if I want to add it, for instance, I'll add uh, freaking, I'll add funny. You click the little plus button, and I just added that tag. Now you'll see funny will be at the bottom. And that's cool. Another thing is, a lot of people don't know this, but tags are weighted from start to finish. So the tags at the beginning are the most relevant tags. Those are going to be what powers your search the most. And then the ones at the bottom are going to be the least relevant, and that's kind of just there to like support it. So you want your most relevant tags to be at the beginning. It's a very important trick. So one thing that TubeBuddy lets you do is sort your tags, and it makes it really easy. So if I wanted to bring funny to the front, I could do that easily, and I just hit apply and close, and you'll see it reorders it for me. And that's really powerful. So I'm going to get rid of that because I don't actually want funny in there. But that just gives you an idea of what you could do. Another thing is you could translate tags. So I could take, for instance, all of these tags and translate it to freaking Arabic. And it'll give me the Arabic version of that tag. Now this is in the top tier version of it, but this could be very powerful to opening up your videos to new audiences in different languages. Another thing is you can go to suggest, and this will just basically suggest tags. And it just makes things easier. Obviously the plus sign will add the tag. So that's a good thing to try. Um, so he says search terms that have generated views in this video. So it's telling me which tag generated the most views in this video, which as you can see, we're working with big numbers here. <laughs> Eight views on this tag. Awesome. I got to work on my tags. I'm sorry, guys. But just to give you an idea, that's what you could do. Just for the record, though, guys, I'm showing you my DJ Monopoly channel just because, I don't know, I, I, f I feel weird like scrolling through our terabyte channel and showing you guys like stats and stuff. So that's why the numbers are so low. I don't really use this channel a whole lot. All right, so now I'm going to pick a random like YouTube channel to check out. And I'll show you some of the more powerful tools that this thing has. So, for instance, okay, I'll just go to Vsauce. Even right there. before I begin filming. Oh, this is I... actually YouTube Creator Academy, so I'm, okay, cool. All right, so check this out. You'll see these new things pop up right here. Click on Stats. You can see how much money they made with the video. $54. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good chunk of change there. Um, that's estimated, though. It's, it's, so it's not exact. 
but that's the estimated amount of money that they made from this video specifically off ads. If they have ads on the video, they might not have ads on the video, in which case they made no money. But if they did, that's how much estimated they would have made. Then it obviously shows you how many shares, likes, comments from Facebook, tweets, and then posts on Reddit, which is really cool. Go to the tags portion, you can see the tags. This is something that YouTube has hidden from everyone. I don't know why, but in the past you were able to see the tags without any problems. But now, if you, if you want to see the tags, you have to like go through like great lengths to see them by like going to the code of the page. But if you have that plugin, you can just go to this and you'll see the tags just fine. Other thing is, go to tools and it opens up a lot of these promotion things that you saw earlier. Um, the social monitor, you can see where it was shared and such which is really cool and it's on other people's videos so it kind of gets you idea like if you want to like research certain channels and see how they're doing well and stuff you could really learn a lot from other channels and this gives you tools to learn a lot from other channels um, another thing is you'll see a little tube buddy thing next to all the comments you can click on it you could send them a private message you could subscribe add your circle follow um, it's just a really cool little thing that like it gives you a lot of stuff right up front and it's also kind of cool that it shows you how many subscribers views and uploads they have you know you never have to go to their actual channel you can just see it right there and it says you have never sent this person a private message via TubeBuddy so it kind of keeps track of who you're sending messages to so you don't like spam people which is awesome um, and that's kind of just like a quick overview of all the things you could do if you get it like obviously there's more stuff here too that you could do and you could see all your subscribers subscribe to them um, and there's just so many things like you see this button everywhere and you'll be like running into new features all the time and it's crazy I recommend you check it out and just play with it try out the free features and possibly consider going with the full one like I did real quick I'll just show you what features each one has I'll go to a quick table so here's just a quick little table that tells you like what the features it has you just go to tubebuddy.com slash pricing um, the free one has all these stuff all the stuff with the check marks next to it and you're just missing the ones with the xbox the x's well <laughs> you're missing the one with the xboxes <laughs> that, that's what they are really i mean so you can choose what features you want and you can go by that um if your channel is below 50,000 views you click this and you'll notice the pricing drops tremendously because they want to help the little guys you get 50 percent off um and if you want to pay annually you'll notice the price drops as well for the monthly thing so that's just kind of some things that you could consider, but the free one works just fine. Get it, try out the features that it has, and I think you'll be pretty impressed. Finally, if you want to get it, I'll just show you that real quick. You just go to TubeBuddy.com. For me, it says you have TubeBuddy installed, but it won't say that for you. You'll have a button for you to click. Click it, install it on Chrome. Um, it should work on other things. I'm not 100% positive, um, but you can figure that out for yourself. It'll walk you through it, and then just get going and try it out. That's, that's pretty much it, though, so I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you want more videos explaining how to do things and get more views on YouTube grow your channel and subscribers um, if you're new and you never actually seen us before you should subscribe because that's what that's what this video is about so if you're here watching this video on how to get more subscribers then you should subscribe to me because I just helped you link in the description for the tube buddy check it out and make sure to like this video and also check out my other channels youtube.com slash terabyte terabyte games all those links in the description follow us on social media see you guys next time peace